I asked my viewers to suggest a game for me to make. Today I am gonna choose a random comment from my previous YouTube video and make a game based on this comment. And the first thing we need is, well, get all the comments and choose the one. Lucky me, I found an open source project which allows to fetch all the data from a YouTube video. I tweaked it a bit and yep, now we can get all the comments from a specific video. However, I don't really need all the comments, since I'm gonna make a game from suggestion. So I actually take only those which contain a word make. It is probably not the best way to do it and I will drop many comments, but <laughs> I don't know. Deal with it, I guess. After we have all these comments, I should choose one randomly. I can do it in a normal way by using some randomizer, but it will be kind of boring, so I actually made a separated project using Unreal Engine 4. I've imported CSV table with the comments and created a simple script to choose one randomly. Here it is! And the winner is... Make a tower defense game, but not like the mobile, but like Fortnite, save the world by Nightmore. And to be honest with you guys, I'm kinda boomer, and I don't really understand what the freak is Fortnite tower defense game, so I would stick to the first part of the sentence. Yeah, that makes much more sense for me now. Anyway, congratulations to Nightmore. Thus, I started to make my own tower defense game. If you don't know what a tower defense game is, then here is how it looks. There are three main components. Enemies which go from a spawn point to a destination point. The destination point itself and towers which a player can build to prevent enemies from going to the destination. Enemies usually use some kind of predefined path to follow. And it doesn't make sense at all actually, but deal with it. If there are enough enemies actually reach the destination point, the game is over. Yeah, that's actually it, so let's make a new Unreal project. First of all, I made a script for player character, so it is able to move around the world and change the position of the camera. Since every tower defense game has some kind of enemies, I've decided that in my game enemies will be spawned through the portal. Accordingly, I've made a portal and enemies. By the way, I used this pretty cool tutorial about making a portal using Unreal Engine particle system, so you could check it out if you want. My portal didn't really work as expected, and it took a couple of tries to spawn enemies properly. I also needed to make a path for enemy to fall, so I decided to use Unreal's spline system, which I already used in my racing game. And yeah, they are probably the worst invaders I have ever seen. After a while I have managed to fix the problem, but they are still the worst invaders I have ever seen. To fix it, I scripted an enemy's objective. It is supposed to be a player's castle or something like that. I've also added castle's protection points. They are supposed to show how many enemies can pass the towers and reach the castle. Except, well, we don't really have towers at the moment, so I guess we should add them. But firstly, I need to add gold as a resource which player can spend to build towers. I've added a small widget and looks like it works pretty nice, but at that point I got an idea. Why do we actually need castle's health points? We could just use gold as a health. I think it actually makes sense and maybe even adds some depth to the game. So half widget should go away. Now every enemy decreases amount of available gold if he reaches the castle and we should protect our treasury from being stolen. And when a building system will be implemented, a player will be forced to choose. Should he spend all the gold on towers or play it safe and keep some gold in case of many enemies will pass through the towers and reach the castle. So I guess it is a time to actually add towers to the game. Towers should be able to shoot, so after some really weird bugs I managed to make it work. Unfortunately now our towers have infinite attack range. And that's not pretty cool, so I have a simple plan. A tower should be able to shoot into the first unit which overlaps with the tower's vision sphere. When a unit is no longer overlapping with the vision sphere, a tower should switch to the other nearest unit. 
So that worked pretty fine and I've decided to implement some kind of visual representation for tower's attack range. Now if a player holds Alt key and hover the cursor over a tower, he can see tower's attack range. Finally, I am actually able to implement building system. I've started with a simple widget, I've added some more in a scroll box and this is how it looks in the game. We can choose which tower to build and choose a place to build. Except there is no choice actually. It is also a problem that the player can build towers whenever he wants. I am sure it will cause many bugs in future and unpredicted behavior. So if you don't know how to deal with the problem, well, just get rid of the problem. So I have scripted this hexagon-like building spots. And now the player is able to build only on those spots. I've also implemented some kind of snapping, so it looks quite nice. Since now we already have shooting towers, we should implement damage system. I've added a small health bar on the top of every enemy. This is already looking pretty fun to play, but I guess we still have a lack of choice. So there are new ice tower and fire tower. Ice tower is supposed to slow enemies. And fire tower supposed to burn them over time. That's pretty cool, but there is still very few of them. I wanna add some more to make the game more interesting. And actually fix some bugs. Anyway, here is a Tower of Weakness, Tower of Death and Tower of Wealth. Tower of Wealth gives a player some small amount of gold every time he hits an enemy. Death Tower is a really slow tower which can one-shot any enemy. I've also added a Tower of Might, which hits all enemies in some small area. Moreover, there are some cool ignite and slow effects made with Unreal Engine particle system. Finally, we have a Tower of Weakness, which applies a debuff to every enemy it hits. The debuff increases amount of taken damage. I've tried to design towers in the way they can be combined together as a part of player's strategy. As an example, we can build a couple of Ice Towers and several Weakness Towers. At the end, we could place a Tower of Might, so slowed and weak enemies will receive enormous amount of damage. Another thing I've added was a widget with tower stats. So now I can actually select specific tower and see its damage, attack speed, attack range and cost. And I'd say it's pretty cool. One of the last gameplay things I wanna add is tower upgrades. Almost in every tower defense game a player is able to upgrade his towers. Thus, I've implemented a simple ability system with ability bar. And now any tower can have any amount of abilities. I've also improved UI a bit, so it is more user-friendly now. Actually, I've scripted quite a few upgrades. There are upgrades for damage, attack speed, attack range, effect length, effect power and so on. Some effects may unlock the new ones and some may grant the possibility to hit all enemies in a small area. So yeah, that's pretty sick. You may have also noticed that I've added attention message to the screen. If a player has not enough gold or he tries to build a tower where he is not supposed to. I still have to fix some bugs though, but overall gameplay is looking quite fun. I should make some balanced tweaking though, because 3 full upgraded fire towers can absolutely obliterate infinite amount of enemies. With that being said, let's create a new beautiful map. Lucky me, Epic Games is well known for giving away a bunch of free stuff for Unreal Engine. And recently I got this modular dungeon models, absolutely free from Unreal Engine Marketplace. So I decided to give it a try and make some cool map. And I'd say this package fits my game absolutely perfect. I made a map with a multi-story dungeon. So enemies are actually using stairs and there are a lot of good spots for towers. I've also changed the destination point. Now it is actually a treasury. So yeah, that's looking pretty sick. The next thing I wanna change is enemies models. I've added three kind of enemies. The first kind is warriors with decent movement speed the second kind is mages, which have really high movement speed, but quite small health pool. And the last one is a really slow but strong enemies with a very big health pool. Finally, I've improved the towers. 
Now they have kind of turret, which is rotating in the direction of current target. I will also change the model itself, and now it looks like a garbage, because it's literally four barrels on top of each other. Nonetheless, I have changed the model of every tower I have along with tower icons. Also, I've added a small feature. Now a player can press a button and tower names will be displayed. Guess it will make easier to find that specific tower to upgrade. But we still have those old projectiles, so I fixed it and also have added some more effects. That is looking pretty cool. I especially enjoy that sick death tower animation. After that, I've added some sounds and implemented a wave system. It means that now enemies are spawned in waves. So there are three waves of enemies. 10 warriors, 7 mages, and 2 bosses. This process iterates in a loop, and every single loop enemies become stronger and stronger. It means that the game is actually infinite, but at some point enemies will become almost impossible to kill. Another thing I've scripted was a game over screen. The player is defeated if he has no more gold. Here is also amount of waves beaten and go to main menu button. But we actually don't have main menu. I fixed it and now we have main menu and music. So I guess it is the time to play the game. Okay, it was quite a long game session, and finally I've been defeated by just overwhelming amount of monsters. So my high score is 32, and if you guys think you would beat it, you can download the game from my itch.io and give it a try. It will take a couple of days to upload the game actually, but if you are watching not in the first 2 or 3 days, it is probably already available, so link in the description, check it out. I also want to thank you very much for watching and if you enjoyed, subscribe. You could also follow me on Twitter if you want to see some videos inside. Well, I guess that's about it. I actually thought that it will be much easier to make a tower defense game, but it turned out to be a quite complicated task. It probably took the whole week to make. Anyway, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube and see you in the next video.